Hi, we're back on Smells Like 90s Rock. It's Sheila Hot Toddy and DJ Pork, and I asked Mark is over there. He's still with us. So I saw a good meme today. <laughs> it said, uh, no, th- th- I'm, I promise this is cool. So It's related to what we're talking about. Not really. But, okay, okay so but, that's so fine. <laughs> Top Gun is the number one movie right now. Yeah, I saw it last weekend. It was good. Oh, I need to see it. It's a good but, movie. So Top Gun's the number one movie right now. Mm-hmm. One of the top songs, or actually the top album, is Kate Bush's album that featured Running Up That Hill because it's yep. in Stranger Things right yep. now. And we are in a uh, proxy war with Russia. So that was the whole message of this meme. It's like we decided well, to go back to 1986. Right. So, yeah. I colored my shirt. I see that. It was a very yeah, odd moment. Spot. Oh, okay. I don't know. Is, so is we're it, repeating history, basically. Yeah. We are. It's the whole uh, thing starting over. I know everybody's got, like, nostalgic nostalgia for their respective decades but really is it a good uh, good idea to go back 36 years um as a 90 show it's on the cusp of that <laughs> like yeah I, that's not a g- good yeah i don't I mean, that's not much of an to, argument for we're us going back here. to the cold war we were like cold the 90s were cold war free except for 91 yeah but the <laughs> it was the 80s really cold war it was at the end of the cold war we were in we were in talks and everything was fine uh who cares 80s and 90s were great 70s were pretty good and then every decade before that was just no. The 60s, you had the civil rights, which actually but birthed it, into. Yeah, but there was a lot of bad stuff that went down yeah. in the 60s. And the 50s went, went great either. We glorify those decades. Yeah. That's because no. that was when you could have a job and survive. One job, one house. A nice house and survive. Yeah, one person working and like survive. A really good Two house. Two 2.5 kids. I didn't have to sign up to be a yeah. cat sitter. Yeah, I said I signed up to be a cat sitter <laughs> this week. Oh, Did and you? also, yeah, I heard New this pop. little anecdote. So, a guy in my family, he was a World War II hero. Is he a family guy? Yeah, but he, yeah. he was a World War II. Fa- he, he was a World War II hero. Is his name Peter? No, but he came back from the war, and he went to Oak Ridge, and he was able to just uh, ask for a loan from a businessman there. He's like, "Hey, I want to start a business." And this guy gave him the money. Yeah. He was like, hey, you fought in the war. I'm going to give you money. I, do you want to see my shocked face? That's and, how it worked back then. And he got very wealthy. Yeah. And My husband's mamma, which is what... I will never get over the fact that that is what Tennesseans... That's what I called my mom's mom. Call their grand... Yeah, their yeah. mom's mom. Or their, their grandparent. Mamma. Yeah, no, the first time mama. my husband said, we have to go visit my mamma, I'm like, you're what? What? <laughs> never heard it. But anyway... Okay. Um, she bought her house for a dollar. Like she ended up paying more for it, like I don't know, ten thousand, whatever, back in the day. But like she was driving around with Papa, another word, <laughs> Papa. Um, yeah. and they saw the house that they wanted, and they went up to the person and they offered him a dollar because it had a for sale sign, and that was their security. That was their deposit. <laughs> yes, a, a buck. And she was telling me this in like twenty. Ten, and I was like, "What? Yeah. One dollar?" <laughs> She's like, "Yeah." That's how we did things back then, yeah. baby. That's, that's normal. That yeah, was normal back then. Just mind yeah. blown. And the baby boomers now don't understand why we and, can't do that. A dollar and a pan of my world famous meatloaf. That was that's the it. A uh, sweet apple pie. Um, it's as America's apple pie. I want to go back and see what the interest rates were on houses back then, because I'm pretty sure. Because really, what's killing people on student loans isn't the loan that they're taking out; it's the interest rates they gave us. Because mm-hmm. like you can't negotiate for it. It doesn't matter what your credit is. Nothing. The standard rate. Yeah. Of like bad credit people. Yeah. And so I'm wondering, like, yeah, just that just piqued my interest. But yeah, one dollar. One dollar. You know, I was thinking uh, last month because I had a rough month financially in May. And at the end of the month, I got in a situation where I had to go to an office and I had to pay for parking. Mm. And I it was a situation where I was honestly completely broke. I didn't have a dime to pay for parking. So, you know, if you think about it, in a lot of ways, poor people are punished in so many ways. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't have the three dollars or whatever to pay for parking, so I came back out to my car, and here I am broke. My bank account's in the negative, and I have a sixty-five dollar parking ticket on my windshield. <sighs> Ugh. Yes, that's how it goes. America, the land of opportunity, baby, <laughs> but only for some. Well, after yeah, it's, it's the land of imaginary opportunity. Yeah, <laughs> like we keep believing we're gonna get that, like you know, that break, but. 
We don't. We're just getting broken. We don't get breaks here. This is a bad place. Lord. I'm so sorry to hear that, man. Six five dollars is a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A come, parking ticket. <laughs> apply yeah. to be a cat sitter. So that that really is a thing. Uh, that I'm at the end of my talk about being at the end of my rope. Uh, I applied for another great job, got turned down. Uh, so in the interim, I'm I've signed up to be uh, a, a pet sitter. Uh, it, right now, I'm in. I'm I'm allowed. Well, almost allowed. Not completely. They're doing the background check, but I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Uh, uh, and then Wait, I'll a background g- check for a cat sitter. Well, well because you're going to people's, people's homes. Okay. You got to, you I was know, like, damn. You got to, tr- you got to be trustworthy to go <laughs> yeah, to people's houses. That's, that's reasonable. Um, just, it just, it just sounds like a lot of, you're just a don't, lot of paperwork. To just you're just go not sure about that because you're from little fancy Long John Silvers, and if they did a background check, you'd have no employee. Yeah, there would yeah, be exactly. no one in that building except you. Yep. Just and even pork. you're questionable. <laughs> not question- that, I'm not that you've, you've not done anything bad. It's just you know. What? You're I, the only I'm person kidding. left, and it's I'm like, just, w- wait a minute. Yeah, why would you guy. want to work here if you're the only one? Yeah, and wait a minute, you have a college degree, and you've still been here for 10 years since you got that degree? Nine years. <laughs> it's closing in on 10, sweet cheeks. I know. <laughs> it's good. We're just a few months away from 10 years. No, nine years. 10 years. But anyway, so uh, cat sitting, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. So yes, yeah, 10 years, Pork, and you're still working at the Fancy Lawn Johns, and I'm unemployed trying to become a cat sitter. That's where we are in Start life. Looking at them state things. Nope. And then the do- <laughs> and then the dog and then then I'm going to work on becoming a dog sitter too. So this is a- but listen, <laughs> it's a- believe it or not, it's two separate yeah, things. Yeah, okay, okay. You literally have it's two separate things. So like I've I've got the cat thing pretty much in the bag. I shouldn't say that. Knock on wood. Let's hope it's in the bag. <laughs> if I don't get if I don't get oh, a cat oh sitting God. job. If I'm not allowed to work, well, we got to have a special. If you don't get the cat, I, sitter I agree. Job. If I'm if I don't allow me to be a cat sitter, I'm I'm. We need like a take a to job take a and quiz? shove it special. It, it was like a what would you do? <laughs> take this it, there was like there's it. no wrong yeah. answer, but like take what this would you kitty do? And shove it. What would you do in these types of situation type quiz? Oh wow, there are wrong answers though, to that. Just mean. <laughs> I mean, I mean there are, but I mean there. They're, like, what well, would you? The cat was crying for food, and you're like, throw it out the window. You give it. You give it food, but it's like it was a simple quiz. But like, mm-hmm. yeah. So then, so then there's that. Then you got to do a whole another thing for dogs. So I'm hoping to do that. But I mean, you can make good money. Twenty dollars an hour is the starting point, and mm-hmm. then you can set your own rates with certain people. So. <sighs> It's something. 